What's going on everyone? We are outside of our hotel right now. We are in Hanover, Maryland. We are playing at Maryland Live. We just on a spurt of the moment decided to come and play. They had a 320 bounty last night and then they have a monthly uh, 1K, which had a decent turnout last month. So we decided to come on out and play. I'm waiting for my Uber and uh, we're gonna late register this tournament. Hopefully we can make a deep run. First notable we ha hand we have is pocket eights in the small blind at the 300, 600 big blind level. There is a raise in early position to 1200 in chips. I'm in the small blind here versus an under the gun opening range. I decide to just call and we end up going heads up to the flop. The flop comes at 743 rainbow. I check to the razor. And the initial razor throws out a thousand in chips. Pretty easy call here. And we go to the turn. The turn is a 10 of diamonds. So I'm going to check to him again. I don't think this is a spot where we're going to be leading out much. But turn goes check, check. And the river comes a queen of hearts. I decide to bet out here really, really small. Trying to get value from some more hands. I bet 1200 and the early position player folds and shows ace five offsuit. So at three, 600 here, we are sitting on 27.8K in chips. Oddly enough, the next notable hand we have is six, four offsuit in the small blind. And it folds around to the button who decides to limp for another 200. I wanna see flops, especially early in tournaments like this. So I throw in the extra 200 Big blind checks and we go three to the flop. The flop comes ace, queen, six with three diamonds. So we have bottom pair and a weak diamond draw. We both check. The button makes it 1200. And I think our hand's a little too strong to fold yet. So I throw in the call for the 1200 here. And we now go heads up to the turn. The turn is a 10 of diamonds. So we did hit our flush. It is a pretty weak flush. But the turn action goes check, check. And then the river comes out a three, non-diamond. I decide to bet 1,200. Again, a small bet, trying to get called by one pair of hands, no diamonds and the button declares you are good. So we pick up a nice little pot here with our weak flush. So I'm assuming they had at least an ace X here, hated the diamonds, but I made it so small that they just couldn't fold. So we pick up a pot here up to 26.4K or at 26.4K. <laughs> this next hand, we have an early position open and we look down at pocket sevens in middle position. We decide to call the raise to 1200 the big blind comes along as well. We go three to the flop. The flop comes ace, 10, six with two hearts. I check. There's a bet for 1.8K and I'm getting a little loosey goosey here. I decide to call and then the big blind folds. So we are heads up now. The turn is a four of hearts. It is checked to me. And considering the fact that the flush comes in and they had checked to me, I usually assume that players are weak here, though some people could be trapping. I think that a lot of people, when there's four hearts on the board and they don't have a heart, get like really scared. I don't have a heart. I have the seven of diamonds. So I decide my only way to win here is to start betting and represent a flush. I bet 4,000 into this pot, which is about half the size of the pot. They fold and we win. And we are sitting around 28.1 thousand chips at the 600 level. So shortly after the break, we look down at Ace King 
at the 400 800 level we raise to 2000 the big blind defends and the flop comes queen jack three rainbow the big blind checks i decide to continue here i bet 2000 in chips the big blind does call so they could have a queen they could have a jack they could have draws they could have a lot of things here the turn comes a four and they check again and at this point i'm just gonna continue to represent a strong range they don't have a huge stack or anything so i think that i can apply a lot of pressure to them get them to fold a three i'm still value betting versus draws i can potentially get them to fold a jack as well they have a queen with the 6,000 chip bet. I think they have about 20,000 chips behind. So I think this applies a lot of pressure. They'll decide to get their queen in here. Fold the jack if they're not confident. And we do get the fold. So still hovering around 28,000 chips at this point at the 4,800 level. The next hand we have for you here, we have queen eight off on the button. We have a casual player who seems a bit splashy who opens up in late position to 2,000 at the 4800 level still. And I decide to play in position, occupying the button. Small blind calls, I'm gonna go three to the flop. The flop comes eight deuce deuce with two clubs. Small blind and uh, late position, both check. And with my queen eight off here and my top pair and the flush draw out there, I definitely think I need to start betting to protect my hand from overs, get value from draws, I decide to bet 5.5K and both players call, which is okay, but kind of a little concerning at the same time, but it's fine. We do have position, so we'll go from there. The turn comes a five. It does not bring in the club draw. And now the small blind actually leads for 15,000 chips here. And the late position player doesn't take too long before going all in over the 15k lead. And I'm like, okay, um, I guess my top pair is not good here. Actually, not I guess. It's like not that hard. They're just never bluffing here at all. So I fold, and now I'm down to 14.5k in chips. So a little under 20 big blinds. The two opponents in this hand, the late position player was getting trappy with pocket eights. They flopped the boat and small blind had king two of hearts. So trips versus a full house here. So unfortunate for the small blind, but uh, wow, one outer with the eight actually, because I had queen eight as well. We look down at the pretty pocket queens at the 1000 big blind level. It folds around to us in the hijack. We have 14 big blinds. And we could probably raise, but I decided to just jam. The big blind had a lot of chips and I thought it could call us lighter for sure. We get it all in and we just get the folds. So pick up some blinds, that is good at 17.4K now at the 1K big blind level. We have another hand at the 1K level. It folds around to us on the button. We have the seven nine of diamonds and I decide to jam again, try to pick up the blinds. And we do just that. So staying alive here. It's little moves like this that can kind of sometimes keep us alive in tournaments. <laughs> this video is funny too. I'm like, 14-9? He's like, 15-9? I'm like, 14-9. <laughs> anyway, we take the blinds and we move on to the next hand. Next notable hand, we look down at King 10 Hearts. We make it 2.3K in early position at the 1K level still. The button and the big blind call and we go to a flop of queen jack jack it checks to me and i decide to check here i was contemplating check jamming flop i decided to start with the check i didn't want to bet and then have to call off i would have much rather check and then jam on somebody and put them to a decision or even just check call i don't have that many chips at this point but the turn comes an ace so it is nice we hit our straight here so that's great big blind leads for 3k and i decided to call i'm short stacked here so i've only got about 
geez, 14, 15K behind or so. I'm really not sure why I decided to just call here because I really put myself in a weird, weird spot at this point. So yeah, anyway, then the button in this hand makes it 11K. And the person who let out for 3K just calls. And that's like the majority of my remaining stack. So I'm in a really awkward position here that I put myself in and it's like my fault. And I'm thinking at this point, okay, why would the early position person just flap? I guess they could have a jack. They don't have pocket aces. Nobody has pocket jacks, given the action that just calls and everything pre-flop. Pocket queens is not likely. Ace queen is a possibility. Ace jack is a possibility. But man, I don't know what on earth I was thinking here. And I'm like, they may be a really strong. I don't know if I was like playing scared. This was such a weird spot, man. But I'm thinking and thinking like, no way he's flatting here weak. The initial person who bet out 3K. And for some reason, to be completely honest, it didn't even cross my mind. It could have just had a jack. It was really weird. And anyway, I decided to fold. What am I doing? Legit, man. This is the, the, this feels like just terrible. I can't even believe that I let this get on the vlog. This is like one of those hands that you're like, oh, I lost the video. But for some reason, I'm putting it in here. So um, unload on me in the comments here. But uh, it was painful. The button ended up... The button looked also strong, but the button ended up folding in this spot. And they talked about the hand after. And the person who led 3K called the 11 ended up showing that they just had trips. They did not have a straight. They did not have a boat. They just had like a jack three clubs or something like that. And man, I literally just like sat and thought about this one for a minute. And I, I don't even know where the disconnect was. So you guys should just unload on me in the comments. I'm actually going to create a burner account and unload on myself in the comments after this one. The less than 10 big blinds, ace five off in the cutoff with 10,000 in chips. We make it 7,000. We get called and we have, uh, geez, like 3K behind. We uh, put it in on the flop and we end up on a queen high flop. We put it in and we end up losing to the button who had queen jack off. So we bust out of this tournament and it, I made such a massive mistake with that King 10 of hearts hand. I don't know what I was thinking. I can't even like process even looking at it now. I think that was somebody else who possessed my body during that hand. But I love playing at Maryland Live. They're running a bunch of tournaments now, the most in the relative area because the other casinos in Pennsylvania and Maryland aren't all the way back yet. But Maryland Live is pumping out tournaments. So I love playing here, but we, yeah blunder today in this one blunder today in this one so i do hope that you did enjoy the action we had here and uh, yeah hope you tune in for future vlogs and uh, that's it see you later thanks for tuning cheers hey everybody thanks for making it to the end of my video no one does that do they all right look i respond to comments so please leave a comment below the description and let me know what you think let me know if you have any questions otherwise check out some of my last videos here and don't forget to hit the subscribe button here all right my name is drew peace out catch up with you later